What's up? I hope you're doing well. My name is Jorge, if you're new here. Now this morning, I woke up, I was like, I need to get out of the house, so I'm gonna head over to Spokane, Washington, which is a few hours from here, not that far. Um, just to get out of the house, do some shopping. I definitely will head up some thrift stores. You know me, I love thrift shopping. So we'll head up the thrifting scene there, hopefully find some treasures. I do wanna also go to Trader Joe's because there's no Trader Joe's here. I used to live by one in Seattle, and what I like about that place is the fresh greens. And Today's goal is to find vintage pieces that are unique and cool for my personal collection. Maybe in an online shop, we'll see. For now, let's just have a little fun here. Look at this picture, handmade, $10, but I'm really loving sort of those details and perfections, sort of a wabi-sabi style, love it. Look at this, can somebody tell me what this is? I have no idea. I think it might be a candle holder if I'm, maybe, I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, yes, I spy some crystal right here. Look at this picture. It literally glistens in the light. Oh, another cool little bowl here. Yes, this one's coming with me. No luck with furniture today or with frames. Okay, I found some goodies. We'll do a little haul when we get home, but I just have to show you. Look at this bowl right here. So beautiful. I think it's actual crystal. And just the silhouette, the design, the detail, the elegance, very beautiful. This is why I love thrift shopping. This thrift store was very fun to walk around because it had sort of a consignment section with more curated vintage pieces such as this and this. Look at that, how awesome is that? I think this might be I don't know, is it like an oil lamp or something? I don't know, it's handmade and it's really cool looking. Sometimes I have to walk around the stores a few times because I might miss things, especially something like this. This store has so many hidden gems or just gems in plain sight all over and it was a pretty big store so I actually walked around this one like four times and I spotted this set of I don't know it's sort of drink some sort of drinkware very unique definitely regret not buying this I literally hate myself but it happens um, and it was like $12 for that well this is pretty nifty it looks like some sort of serving platter it has like the two bowls and that long thing in the middle i don't know kind of cool let me know if you know exactly what it is what are your thoughts on this vase slash pitcher do we love the color i'm into it i would probably put this on my pedestal at home do you see what i see that's right look at this vase it absolutely came home with me quick stop at trader joe's before heading home Okay, these ones last a very long time. They're so cheap. Good morning. So it is the first frost of the season um, and that means the plants are probably dead, which is, you know, it's nature. Let's go take a look at the flowers and see how they're doing. As you know, I definitely share those a lot here on this channel and I don't know, they just, I find them so beautiful and um, calming, but let's go take a look at the damage.
Okay, not too bad, but the Dahlias aren't doing so great. Okay, so here's a little update on these plants that I planted a few weeks ago. They're doing just fine. I was transitioning them inside, so bringing them inside at night, taking them out in the daytime, and yeah, they're looking pretty good. So glad they're not out there frozen to death, but kind of nice. Look at that. Also, this aloe vera um, is doing really great. Uh, there's actually four plants in there, which is probably too much for this planter. Um, I should probably repot them, but... Alright, I found some treasures. I'm so excited to share with you what I got yesterday. I ended up going to about five different thrift stores, which is kind of interesting. I feel like some are more curated. Maybe they clean up the glassware and the prices are higher. And then there are some that will take anything. Prices are lower, more of a scavenger. I love them all. The thrill of finding pieces that maybe are more unique, uh, vintage, that have a history. Maybe they're no longer popular, who cares? I love it, it's it's fun. So, let me clear the table here. By the way, check out these sphere cement DIYs that I did. Uh, maybe you saw the video already, but they kind of look like stone. And something like this would look nice um, in all sorts of bowls that I see throughout thrift stores, including some that I actually got. But Anyways, that's my shameless plug for the video. All right, no particular order here. First things first, check out this purple vase. Um, kind of more of a muted color. I feel like it's looking a little, not purple on the video. Um, I'll put some photos here, um, which I like to include photos because I like, you know, styling and just give you some ideas. Um, and so this vase right here kind of has the shape of a spittoon. Let's hope it's not a spittoon. Uh, I went ahead and gave it a good clean and it's shining, let me tell you. And even though I am more minimal in my style and like neutrals, I like that because I can introduce color. On those days that I'm feeling dangerous, I will add a little bit of color. And colored glassware is a nice way to do this. This can go nicely on a coffee table. If you've been following for some time, you know that I have an obsession, a love for can holders. Can't stop, won't stop. Found this one for like three dollars. It's a set of three. Well, it's one candle holder, but has three um, for three candles. And it's kind of like this wiggly, curvy little situation. I think this would look better if it was black. Maybe it could be spray painted black. We'll see. But how neat is this? I love it. While we're in the subject of candle holders, um, I also found this set of three candle holders. We have that colored glass base, kind of like, um, not a salmon, kind of like a salmon color, but these are for tea lights. Look at that. This is the little place for the tea lights. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this, so I had to grab it. Oh, that's my phone. Now, have you heard of milk glass? Milk glass was popular, wasn't it like the 80s or 90s? I don't know, let me know if you do. I wasn't around during that time period, but I definitely see a lot of milk glass pieces at thrift stores, and I feel like some of them, like, did we really need that? But then a lot of them are pretty cool, and I found this vase right here, milk glass, uh, has just a nice classic look to it. I think some days when I'm feeling really minimal, I will put white decor on white decor and I like it. This little piece right here is a gem and it was only $3, $2, $2. While we're in the subject of vases, I found this one. This one was really cool. It is comes with a little stand and I just like the color, the texture of it. This definitely works well here and a lot of spaces really. And something that I think I don't see that much all the time. I do see these stands all the time at thrift stores, but I never actually see the vase. Or sometimes candle holders is what up there. I found this bowl right here. This is, well, I found these two, but this bowl, very beautiful. Um, it kind of looks like a whole bunch of washers put together, but they're not washers, I think. Um, how neat is this? This piece right here. I think I've seen something like this um, used for like fruit, like a fruit bowl, but you could also use it for decor, maybe put some uh, rock collection, some stones, or 
put more bowls, like these wooden bowls that I found. This is um, a set of three, it looks like hand carved bowls. And this is, I would put them inside the bowls and kind of just create some interest. Perfect for a coffee table or a dining room table, honestly. Okay, this is why I like vintage shopping, thrift shopping. Look at this. How incredible is this? I think it is crystal and so sculptural, so beautiful. I think I'm gonna be putting this on my coffee table here because it's just stunning and the way that the light hits it, it dances in the light and I found this fluted vase, um, ribbed vase, black um, and perfect for some branches. You know, I like some branches and maybe some fresh flowers and it has a little bit of a tapered look to it. I found some of these. Um, what are these called? I always forget the name of these, but they're kind of little bowls, footed bowls, but they're really tiny bowls. They're actually separately, but um, I got them at separate thrift stores, but they complement each other really nicely. This one has, is made out of glass, but it has sort of this like detail uh, made out of like paper rope or something like that. How cool is this? And then this one right here, ceramic, or I think it's terracotta actually, and it has this um, cane at the base kind of wrapped around it, but the shape of it, it's nice and look that would look really cool together. I found this weird little guy. This one is a swan or a duck It's 99 cents, but there was like a color sale. I think it was like 60% off. So 40 cents 40 cents for this is kind of cool. I haven't seen anything like it. I don't know if it's just decorative or it's meant to You know hold something the color green, at first I was not really into it, but I'm kind of into it now, I mean, for 40 cents. Also, this handmade bowl, this bowl right here, I think it has, says, it's from 2003, old time Winthor Washington Pottery. Oh, th this might be from a local pottery shop in Washington. 2003, handmade. I don't know if you can see the inside. That is absolutely beautiful. And I like the little handles too. I think it's a nice detail too. And then I think these are, I think these are the last ones. These two right here, made out of stone. I want to say, is it onyx or alabaster? I can't really tell. They are made in Spain. These goblets, or maybe it could be small bases, but maybe they're goblets. Who knows? They are awesome, awesome. I just like the way that they like feel. They're so soft and smooth. And when you hold them up to the light, you can see sort of that light peeking through and you can see some of the veins. This is why I love thrift shopping. I guess that's everything. I kind of went through that pretty quickly. Um, but again, I have fun shopping and just finding all sorts of pieces. And I know so many of you do too and like to DM me the things you find. So definitely do that over on Instagram. Um, I'll put the thing there. And yeah, it's really fun finding things. One thing really quickly before we go, I did go to Trader Joe's. Um, there's no Trader Joe's where I live. I used to live by one in Seattle and I really like going there for the florals and you know, all the really cool trendy food. But I actually picked up this one. I stopped by Trader Joe's there and I found this rubber plant. It's kind of cool here. It was only $5.99, which is I think a good deal, especially for the size of this. Also picked up some fresh greenery. I like getting the eucalyptus and you know all sorts of florals there, but I picked up some. Maybe I'll put a clip here at the end of making an arrangement. Okay, I have my vase here. Now these are some of the florals I got. I used to buy these a lot and these last actually a very long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in this vase right here. I'm gonna fill it with some water first. Okay, I'm pretty excited because I just got a delivery, two big boxes that I need to figure out how I'm going to bring inside.
Some of the bunny. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. For the last few months, I have been looking for recliner chairs that don't look like recliners, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think these are going to be good. We'll see. I have to build them and see. But I don't have time right now, so we're just going to end it here. Don't worry. I will follow up with them and let you know how they are. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff that helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.